Hi, my name is Pastor James from the Philippines. I like to um, share to you a short message of Easter. Easter is where they celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, I happened to be in the garden tomb in Israel for several times and um, one thing that I often notice when I am there I see that word that says he is not here for he has risen so this message is about the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ I like to read the verse to start with from John chapter 20 verse 19 on the evening of that day the first day of the week the doors being locked seems familiar where the disciples were were for fear of the Jews leaders Jesus came and stood among them and said to them peace be with you I'd like to um, focus on that message today regarding the peace that Jesus gave to his disciples if you would uh, think with me and imagine with me you were one of the disciples of Jesus Christ and you were we were locked you were locked in that room because of fear imagine how much you could relate right now the world is at fear if you google the word fear you will see that there are about 1.5 million people are fearful because of this because of these troubled times that where we are right now so the disciples were fearful and then suddenly the Bible says suddenly Jesus appears to them meaning Jesus walk through the wall let me go back a little bit when Jesus was raised from the dead he was he was buried inside the tomb and the Bible says the angel roll away the stone it's a big stone that sealed the tomb so the, the, the stone was rolled by an angel here is my point if Jesus could pass through that wall and went and appeared to his disciples how much power did Jesus need to get out of the tomb but you know why the angel rolled the stone because God wants to see wants the people to see that the tomb was empty but Jesus was no longer there anymore and so so Jesus appeared to his disciples and said this word peace be with you imagine you were that one of the disciples so fearful about the things that happened so fearful of many things if you would look at the world today the world are so fearful of many things like maybe some some are losing their job some are you know doesn't have much to to eat some may don't have even know what their future is all about and a lot more i may not be able to mention the, the things that the people are so fearful but one thing that i need to say is maybe most of the people right now are have fear of the future even fear of death but Jesus again emphasizing telling his disciples peace be with you he said I am also wanting to say that to you this message of the resurrection power would erase all the fear the doubts of anything that is you are locked into anything that place you in a lock the peace of God will pass through that wall whatever that wall is maybe it's all of your mind 
maybe the maybe the wall is your understanding by knowledge by your learning go black maybe you doubt the resurrection of Jesus Christ maybe you don't believe that Jesus really resurrected from the dead so that world that is protecting you that world that stops you from believing that Jesus Christ is bringing the peace to you right now believing that Jesus Christ is bringing the peace to you right now that peace and I'm asking you right now that the Holy Spirit will speak to you and that peace that Jesus is wanting to give his disciples will be upon you also peace be with you while the world is in turmoil while the world is in trouble let this peace of Jesus Christ that he is telling to his disciples be upon you well it's good to believe to be doubtful to believe in fear if Jesus this did not resurrect that from the dead but he is the risen Lord as I was telling you I was there several times at the guardian tomb in Israel and oftentimes when I come there I always hear this word Jesus said I am no longer here because I have risen from the dead let me also talk about the resurrection power this is some kind of a testimony to me you know resurrection power will work on through those people who will believe in it Jesus wants us to believe even Jesus asked the disciples come reach out touch my hand put your finger on my side so Jesus understand that we need to believe him that is what he said to his disciples so I'm I'm also challenging you right now overcome the thing in your mind that stops you from believing that Jesus Christ has resurrected from the dead that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead oftentimes we do revival right we want revival we want revival we need revival we get it oftentimes when you go in wanting to have revival you have revival you get revival but how long that revival will stay with you you're gonna need another revival again but here is a powerful message that I received from the Lord about the resurrection power Jesus Christ was resurrected but before he resurrected from the dead before he resurrected he died first so there is no resurrection if you are not dead what I'm saying is you should be dead by yourself you should die to yourself anything that wanting you to be in control anything that wanting you to be in control that is you and that is what Jesus wanting you to die to it and allow the Holy Spirit and allow the Lord to be in full control with you full control in you now if there's anything that you are wanting to ask God fight to fight with you asking God this and this and that may I suggest lay them all down at the feet of Jesus even your very life cause it to die now so that the resurrection power will come to you you see resurrection only comes when you are dead to yourself you don't need revival anymore you will stay you will stay in living you will be working you will be ministering through the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ let me give you one example so that you will be able to relate what I'm talking about the resurrection power or it could very 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 I'm very assured of this that the resurrection power can revive can bring transformation and 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 
and life to every situation that you have that you are having right now let me share my let me share this short story of me of of, of mine i i have a daughter that we have not been uh, talking for communicating for five years when she went to the when she went to the guardian tomb god speak to him god speak to her and she's and, and god said to her you are sick then my daughter told the Lord that I don't have any sickness in me. The Lord told her, you are sick. You have not talked to your father yet. And so I never heard about that for many years. When God brought me to Israel and I was there also in the resurrection, in the guardian tomb to receive my resurrection power, God spoke to me. You know what God says? I will bring transformation and, and, and life to all that is deaf in you. Anything, any any relationship that is dead, maybe family, anything, name it. God will bring that resurrection power in you. And I'm believing right now, not only the peace, peace that the Lord Jesus Christ is giving you, but even the resurrection power, the resurrection power that anything you want to be, to be uh, raised from, whatever that cost, that death of that relationship, or whatever that you are dreaming of, that you are looking for, the resurrection power will work in you, and I believe it because it works in me. So I will be closing right now. If you are fearful, if you are worried, if you have all those things that crippled your mind, I'll say it again. And I'm praying that the peace of Christ, the peace of Christ that He had given to His disciples in this verse, John 20, verse 19, peace be with you. You know what the Bible says? The disciples were overjoyed they were overjoyed and i'm praying right now that the holy spirit will bring that joy to you right now and at the same time the resurrection power now there's only one requirement if you are willing to die to all of those all of those and allow the holy spirit so you will no longer need a revival the resurrection power will work in you. Praise the Lord. Let me now close in prayer. For all of you around the world, hearing this message, the peace of Christ will be upon you and the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ and the same will be working with you. Let's close in prayer. Father God, we just want to thank you for this opportunity of sharing your word. And I pray, Father God, that every ear that is listening will be listening to this message will receive the word will be able to hear not just to listen but to be able to hear what the holy spirit is saying speaking to them right now and even i pray for every heart that is troubled every heart that is so fearful that the peace of christ right now will come into their heart and let that overjoy arise in their heart and in their lives because Jesus has risen from the dead and we have eternal life for this. God bless you. Shalom. May the peace of Christ, the shalom, be with you all for the rest of your life. God bless you.